Hi everyone, it's Lauren and this is my Weber Weekly Update. Today I wanted to talk to all you sellers out there. Anyone thinking about selling, I wanted to share five of the most cost-effective ways you can prep your home to go to sale and get the highest return on your investment. So let's jump right into it. First thing that we can focus on, which, you know, if you're staying there, it's free to you, a little bit of elbow work and grease and time, but so, so, so worth it and so crucial is declutter and depersonalize. Now, the tip that I give to my sellers is let's just get into the mind frame of we are moving. You're going to be moving, you're prepping for the move, so let's just start packing for that. And in packing, you know, when I move, I always do the keep, the donate, the throwaway boxes, and um, we can just get ahead of the game and put away some of those things that you know you're not going to need to use in the next few months to come or whatever your target goal is to sell. And what I mean by depersonalizing is, you know, the goal is to get your house prepped and have buyers walk through your house and so that they can envision themselves living in your house. So what we are gonna to wanna to do is take down any pictures, anything really personal, so that is not a distraction to them. Now, I am very, very guilty of getting distracted. Whenever I see pictures of cute families, I'm just, everyone's curious. They wanna know who lives here, what do they look like, what is their lifestyle like? So we just wanna remove that distraction from them and make space for them to vision their pictures going on the wall. Item number two, I cannot stress enough how far paint goes. You can do a whole new uh, interior, exterior paint if needed, or you can do touch-up paint, but paint goes a long way. It really freshens up a space. And if you are changing paint colors, we can stick to neutrals to again, depersonalize and help the buyers to envision themselves living in the new space in your home. Item number three, to really freshen up a space, you can change out light fixtures and find really cost-effective ones um, on Amazon, Lamps Plus, and just really bring the room to life. That's something that I have recommended to a couple of my clients and they really liked how it transformed the whole entryway, the whole dining area, and it's a simple, easy, low cost. Item number four is curb appeal slash landscaping slash first impressions. So, when I'm talking about that first impression, we can do a simple uh, change like plant some freshly potted flowers and if you have a planter, even better, water the grass. Make sure you have some lush green grass going or invest in getting some grass seeds or hiring a gardener. The curb appeal is going to be your the buyer's first impression upon looking at photos and when they drive by the house or pull up. <laughs> So we want to make a really good first impression. Now tying into the last item, item number three, we can bring in light fixtures to the exterior of the home. Today, more than ever, outdoor space means so much to buyers. So even like getting little bistro lights and hanging them in the backyard, $50 and it makes a world of difference. Item number five. So we all have that laundry list. Maybe it's not that long, but that list of repairs that you know you've been meaning to get around to, but it's just a low priority. We can start tackling those or hire a handyman to take care of a bulk of them, especially if they're inexpensive and there's something that buyers may notice upon just touring your house. So, you know, missing or broken light bulbs or a stuck screen door or jam door. You know, you wanna take all of those things out of the way. Buyers are going to be doing inspections, so it's nice to just take, check them off the list and have them not be something that we need to worry about during the inspection process. 
So those are just five simple tips. And every house is different. Every seller situation is different. We have different timelines that we're working with and it's all catered to you, what your goals are. So if you're thinking about selling, I would love to sit down with you, visit your house and give you a very specific game plan as to what will give you the highest return on your investment. I hope these tips helped. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and have a great day. Bye.